How happy are you to be here with uh, some of your teammates? Uh, it's a pretty rigorous workout, but you seem to be having fun. Yeah, I mean, having fun. We, uh, we're doing our job. We're trying to get better, trying to uh, get to the next level. And, uh, you know, thank God I have a guy or something high, so I'm not the only one here. Do you, yeah. After the season ended, what did you do to just kind of relax a little bit and then had to start ramping up the program for this and you knowing that you're going to be down in Port St. Lucie in a couple of weeks? Yeah, well, after the season, I went home. Uh, I got some rest. Uh, and uh, I took two weeks off, and then I came here for a month. And then I went to Venezuela to play winter ball until this, uh, December 29th. Was uh, Dave your coach down in winter ball, down in, uh, in Venezuela? Uh, or yeah. No, he wasn't. He, uh, he, he's in Caracas. I'm in Margarita. Did, 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 you, did you talk to him at all during the offseason or Terry or Sandy? Uh, I talked to Dave. He was there. Um, I played against him a lot, so we would talk. So going into the season ahead, if you ran into a Met fan on the streets in New York, what would you tell him or her as it relates to why they should be excited about the season? Why are you excited about it? I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I, I, I want spring training to be right now, but uh, obviously I don't make decisions, so uh, I'm just going to play hard and do my best and see what happens. You can play a lot of positions, and there seem to be a few guys on the team that can play a lot of positions. Do you ever talk to guys like Paul Stahadas here or Daniel Murphy uh, or a guy like Eric Young that can play infield, they can play outfield, they can you know play any position in the infield? Do you ever talk to them about that? Uh, no, uh, not really. I haven't really talked to them, but uh, there, there's a lot of guys that can play, and that's why I'm here. I want to play as many positions I can. You got called up last year. What was it like coming up to the big league team last year? And what did it mean to you? And how do you build on that experience in 2014? It means a lot. It was honestly it was better than I thought. It was a good experience. Uh, I learned a lot from uh, veteran players. And uh, I mean, how to be there this year again? What makes coming out here and seeing how Mike goes about his business? What makes it fun for you or different from what you expected? It's not because it's Mike. He, he knows what he's doing. He he knows about what, what we need. And uh, I mean, personally, what I need just trying to try to get faster, trying to get quicker, and trying to get stronger. So so he knows. So that's what we're working on. You gonna watch the Super Bowl on Sunday? And if so, who you're rooting for and why? I don't really watch football. So <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna watch the game, but. We'll see. Uh, similar question. Winter Olympics, any interest at all? Not really. Surprise me. <laughs> Let me see if I got anything up for you. Uh, okay. Biggest adjustment from being in the minor leagues and being with the big league club last year? It's uh, a lot of mentally part. It's a lot of mentally in the big league. Is the speed of the game dramatically different? It's definitely faster. Definitely faster. And uh, the the pitching or the way the ball's coming at you in the infield as well? Both. I mean, uh, the pitchers know what to do, so they just come, they just go after you, so you, you don't have too much time to think, so you have to think faster. Comfortable. Any particular position that you're more comfortable with than not? And same thing in terms of improvements defensively and improve, improvements offensively. I will play anywhere. I will feel comfortable in any position. And what do you think you have to do to lift your average up? What do I have to do to get it out? Hit more. <laughs> uh, 